Hey everyone, Hassan here, and right in front of you guys in the camera, right in front of me and you I guess, is the 3DS XL with Mario Kart 7. Uh, so what's going on right now is I am running this off of a game cartridge, so I have Mario Kart 7 in there right now. Um, but Mario Kart is one of those games that I can play just on and on and on for hours upon hours, right? And so... This is the type of game that I always want to have on my 3DS. Um, and so what I did is I went ahead and I downloaded it off of the 3DS eShop. But I want to keep all my save data, right? So if I go back, I'll show you. This is running, this is the, the retail copy, the actual cartridge that I have loaded up. And you'll see I have all my save data in here, right? So if I select the, you know, Grand Prix, you'll see um, oops, that like, you know, 50 cc, I have three stars on all these, same with 100, 150, and mirror, I'm still, you know, working on those ones, but, I mean, you'll see, I have all the characters unlocked, so spoilers, I guess, for the characters, um, but, uh, yeah, so I have all my save data, and I don't want to lose that, uh, so what Nintendo has released is they have released this save data transfer tool on the 3DS eShop that you can download for free, um, It'll probably officially put out on the eShop tomorrow, um, but right if you want it right now, you can actually search for it on the eShop. If you just type in save data, you can find it. But uh, So I'm going to exit out. So let's uh, close out of there. And you'll see I have lots of games that I've kind of downloaded. Um, you know, I have New Super Mario Bros. 2, Paper Mario Sticker Star, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon I just got. There's Brain Age right there. Um... Other downloadable titles, Harmonite, which comes out on the eShop tomorrow. I'm playing a review copy of that. Um, and many other games, all the Ambassador games, all the download games I have. There's so many things here. Um, and I have Mario Kart 7 right here, um, ready to go. But um, I just downloaded it. It took about 14 minutes to download, so actually not too bad. Um, but this is the save data transfer tool. So I'm about to use this to transfer my save data from the game cartridge to the 3DS so that way I can use it on here because the, the game cartridges, you they save the save data on the cartridge itself. So you can't use the same thing unless you actually transfer it over. And once you transfer it, you cannot transfer it back to the cartridge. It's only a one-way thing. Uh, so I'm going to go through this process. I don't know how long it'll take, so I guess let's uh, find out. So let's see what this is like. Create your extra data, okay. Download the data required for save data transfer? Sure. I don't know what data that is, but apparently there's some other data that is required. Um, okay, so this software is removing save data from a 3DS game card to a separately purchased downloadable version of that title. The following software, compatible game card, I already got that in there. 3DS downloadable version of the same title, got that as well. Okay. Save data moved to a downloadable version cannot be restored to a game card. Um, all right. So let's uh, close explanation. So it looks like it's uh, it detected that I have Mario Kart 7 in there and it's transferring to the downloadable version. So the game card saved data will now be moved to the downloadable version. Next. If saved data is deleted for reasons such as repeatedly turning the power on and off, removing the SD card while data is being saved, getting dirt on the game card connectors, or other misuse, then the data cannot be recovered. Thank you for your understanding. Um, interesting. Okay. Extra data created by the game card version of the software may be saved to an SD card. Please use the SD card that has the extra data saved to it when transferring save data. I'm guessing the extra data is stuff that you can create, like spot pass, street pass stuff. So I think it uses up extra space. So I think that's saying that you can use the same SD card. In fact, before I opened up Mario Kart, I saw the blue and the green light icon showing that I have street pass and spot pass stuff in Mario Kart 7. But it also showed it on the icon with the, the gift, which was the downloadable version of this. So it already detected it because it was the same SD card. Um, I'm using more than one version of the same software on a single 3DS system. Street Pass, Spot Pass, and extra data from each version cannot be saved separately. Um, oh, okay. Because now it's all on the same 3DS, you can only, I guess, have one version of each. 
So please keep this in mind if you use the game card from which you transfer save data, blah, blah, blah. All right. So lots of warnings. Uh, confirm software version is up to date before performing save data transfer. Sure, let's confirm. I updated it the other day with the new update, so it should be, should be okay. Okay, once the saved data is moved to the downloadable version, cannot be returned to the game card. Yes, you've said that like five times already, so let's move it. Look at that little animation there. Saved data has been completed. All right, so let's it says return to home menu. So let's get out of here. So let's, uh, before we open up the download version, let's open up the, the game card and see if the saved data truly is gone. I'm sure it is, but just for video purposes. It's taking a little while to load initially, so I'm guessing it's trying to create saved data or something. It's the old thing there. Um, when I hit single player, Grand Prix, yep, all the save data is gone. So let's actually go over to whoops, the downloadable version I have here. Let's open this up. Ta da! And let's open up the um, downloadable version of Mario Kart 7. I'm not sure what other games that I'm going to do this for. Um, I don't know if other, other games are, are going to be worth it for me that I already have in the retail package. Um, single player. Yep, there we go. So the download version has all of my saved data and everything. Um, so, yep, there it is. So there you have it, folks. That is the how to use the 3DS save data transfer tool. Um, it's out on the eShop now for free. So if you have any uh, retail games that you like, would like to own digitally, you can download them on the eShop and transfer your saved data over. Remember, it is a one-way transfer. Um, but it's pretty quick and easy, as you saw right here. So there's that. So check that out, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. And uh, check out NintendoFuse.com for all the latest on Nintendo news and rumors and our Nintendo Feast podcast that we have and everything. So check that out. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.